This video is about how to work with Brazilian slates. This is a cost-effective natural slate. There's a carbon neutral version of this and it's available in all common sizes used in construction. This video will explain the differences of working with Brazilian slate as opposed to working with a Spanish slate. First one is the holing of these slates. Do it with a masonry bit in a cordless drill. The second one is the fixing. Best way to fix these is with a stainless steel hook and the other one is the cutting. The best way to cut them is with an angle grinder or cut off saw. It will also show you how to work out your datum measurement and your gauge measurement for your battening. So now we're going to work out the measurements that you need to put your battens on the roof to accept your slates. There's two measurements you need. The first one is the datum, that's the first full length slate. And the second one is the gauge and that's the spacings up the roof. So take the length of my slate, which is 500 mil. If you're looking at a, a standard roof, you have a fascia board, gutter, rafter, That's your batten. Your slate fixes, sits halfway onto the batten and finishes halfway into the gutter. So you can put all your measurements on here, which is, first one is the length of my slate. That's 500 mil. I take all my measurements from there, which is the top edge of the, uh, of the fascia board. So from there to there, is 65 mil that you have to take off because I'm taking my measurement from there what I'm trying to find here is the top of the baton not the top of the slate so that's the top of the slate I need to that sits halfway onto the baton that point there to there is 25 mil I've got to plus that so I've got everything on there that I need I can now transfer it over there first thing I need is the length of the slate, which in this case is 500. I'm taking off 65 mil into the gutter, which leaves me 435. I then add on half the width of the batten, which is 25 mil, which takes me up to 460. Circle and dot, 460 is my datum measurement. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work out our gauge measurement. So with a stainless steel hook, you have to add 10 mil to the length of the slate. So our slate is 500, so we're gonna call that 510. Off of that, I need to take the headlap, which in this case is 100 mil. That leaves 410. We divide that by two because it's a double lap roof covering. That gives me 205, circle and dot, that's the gauge measurement. So, as you can see, I've already battened this roof out, felt and battened it. Uh, this is my date and batten that I, I did the measurement for just now. The measurement comes from there to the top of the batten. Once I've got that date and batten on, then I need to apply my gauge battens. So from that one there, I go up to the top of that batten there, the gauge measurement, which in this case is 205 mil. I put that one on and then what I would do then is I come down 205 mil from my Dayton batten to this one here which is my Eve batten I put that one on and then I put another batten right up and underneath it what that does it gives me a much better fixing for the Eve so the head of the Eve goes halfway onto the batten the side of the Eve goes onto the perp that I've put up the roof that way I nail into the bottom batten but the head of the slate, head of the eave goes onto the top batten. What I've got here is a cordless drill with a five mil masonry bit in there for drilling the holes in the slates. What I'm gonna do now is to show you how to accurately measure the length of your eave. So what I do with this, in the bottom of a slate, drill a hole like this. So I've nailed that slate onto the line on my batten. I now put another one above it on the datum batten. Now 
mark across the bottom like that, ease this one off, that is the line for me to cut for my eave. This is the most professional way to cut but you can use a handheld grinder instead. We're now going to fix the eaves, these are my pre-cut, pre-holed eaves and we're now going to lay them across the, the bottom. These are the nails we're going to be uh, fixing the perimeters with. These are 38 by 3 millimeter copper nails. We fix across the bottom so the eave course and the first full slate course are nailed. The verges are nailed and across the top cuts are nailed as well. So we're going to now fix my eaves right the way across. Make, make sure they're on the lines across here and your perpens going up the roof. Over nail, the nail will be too tight and they can break. So that's all of my ease fix. That's very similar to uh, a nail fixing system. The, the eave course and the first full slate are fixed with nails, whether you're hook fixing or whether you're not. What we're going to do now is we'll come across the bottom with our first full slate and then we'll be fixing our hooks as we go in between. Right, so now what we're going to do is to fix our full slate across the bottom. You'll notice that they come pre hold because they can be uh, nailed instead of hook fixed. The hook fix is the best system. The eave course and the first course are both nailed because that's very difficult to hook fix them in that position. The hook goes in. That's my first two courses fixed, the eave course and the first full slate course. They're fixed with copper nails. We're now going to go on to the hook fixing, which you will see is a lot quicker. It's also a lot more secure for any natural slate, in particular a Brazilian. You can see all the details of this on our video four, which shows you all the processes for fixing with hooks. I'm now going to go up the verge. I've pre-drilled my verge slate and my slate and a half so that it's going to make this a bit quicker. It's better to pre-drill it and get all of your verge slate and slate and a half ready to use then you're not changing operations midstream. In general hook fixing is assumed to be about 25% quicker than the nail fixing which saves on labour. By using hooks there are four fixing points holding each slate in place. Hook fixing allows easy replacement of any broken slate without affecting other courses.
So what we've done to get to this point now, we've felt and battened it. I worked my datum measurement out. I've worked the gauge measurement out, put the datum on, I've put the gauge battens on, the double eave on the bottom, double batten for the eave on the bottom. And now we've come across the bottom, fixed the eaves with nails, fixed the first course with nails and put the hooks in between the slates. We've gone up the verge. The top now, you need to go to video five, which shows how to put a dry vented ridge system onto the roof.